This is the BDBD camp in Uganda. It's filled with refugees from South Sudan. Hundreds of desperate families cross the border every single day. Women and children make up more than 85% of the arrivals. We face a lot, a lot of problems. As a, a pregnant mothers, we have no something to, to buy for us a soup. And then, as you can see, children are crying here because of hunger. The conflict in South Sudan has created Africa's biggest refugee crisis since the 1994 Rwandan genocide. And it once again highlights the urgent need for countries around the world to support Uganda in hosting refugees but and also using the political influence they have to bring the South Sudanese leadership together in dialogue to end the bloodshed and to create the conditions that will allow these refugees to safely return home. But UN agencies are only receiving a fraction of the funds they need. And refugees continue to arrive in their hundreds uh, and that may increase once the rainy season subsides. Um, we continue to operate in a situation where we're chronically and severely underfunded. The standoff between South Sudan and the UN is just a small part of a crisis that threatens to spiral out of control. But it's a crucial part. Peacekeepers are meant to protect civilians. Without them, it's unlikely refugee camps like this one will see an end to the influx anytime soon. Cornelis Vandracher, CGTN.